Yo guys, before we get into the video today, if you could go and check out my second channel by Max Anderson, which is content like this. Three, two, one. Oh my god, it's coming in! It's coming in! Now if you like that type of content, make sure to sub to it, leave a like and turn on post notifications. I've already got about 5-6 videos on there and I'm going to be uploading about twice once a week for that channel as they're better quality videos. But apart from that, let's get back into the video. Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to my Rainbow Six Siege video and as you've seen my title today, this is the most earning renown farm glitch. Now this is the best farm glitch I've seen so far, you get about a over 100 renown per game and that is without any changes at all. So it's pretty good, I'll be showing you the settings, how to do it, everything about that and everything you do need to know. So first of all, what you want to do is go over to your options and go and change your map and your matchmaking preferences for the game and make sure that Extract Hostage is the only one that is on and that the only map is on is going to be house. Then after you've done that, just make sure by turning one map on and turn it off and just apply it. So you know it's awfully done. It was already done for me last time and literally you're there. Now what you want to go and do is have a teammate. That is the most annoying part. Today I haven't got a teammate. I know, sad times. But if you haven't got a teammate or anyone you can do it with, leave your game tag down below. You know, just help out each other, put it down below, play with each other, make some new friends. Quick ways to run out farm together. It's very easy. But after you've done that, you want to go over to training grounds and then you want to go over to your squads, which you should normally have and put it onto normal. I'll be showing you what to do as you would do normally if you were as a squad. So I'm just going to go as lone wolf. I won't be getting over 100 renown for this just by the score. I might get extra obviously because I'm playing and getting the changes done. But obviously it's just because I'm on solo. So always the best place to spawn is APC area. You're going to be the quickest. Always pick the fastest operator. So either pick Sledge and Ash. That is a great way and a great duo to do it with because Sledge can just literally breach down any wall and Ash is quick and got a good gun. So if you are in a squad, I recommend picking those two operators. So straight away, you just want to run straight through the door and you want to be coming out this door as well. So if you are going through it, you want to be exiting to it with the hostage. Now, literally, the hostage might be downstairs and he might be upstairs, so you, you might have to do a little scan everywhere. It's not hard. The house map is quite small. Now, guys, when you are completing this, it is going to be a lot easier because there is going to be two of you. So you can literally just go and grab the hostage. One can go upstairs, one can go downstairs. It's easy. The terrorists will kill a lot easier. And don't forget, it's going to be a normal difficulty. Even if you want to go and kill the terrorist, it will get you a bit more XP. Don't forget, guys, it will be a lot quicker than this, and you'll be doing it within literally about 30 seconds to a minute per game. So really, at the end of the day, it is really worth it. So there we go, guys. I finally found the hostage. He is right here. I can literally have to wipe up the terrorist around. Don't forget, they are poor aiming, so you don't have to be too extra careful when doing it. But just make sure you're not terrible. But once you guys, you have got the hostage, you want to go out the same way you did come in. That is because there's going to be a lot less enemies when it does come to it. So you can literally just go right around the edges. No one's going to see you. And it's going to be like one or two by the extraction point. But after that, you'll be completely fine. So as you can see, guys, I'm literally running outside. There is no enemies. There is going to be a few around the corner. But one of you is going to have the hostage. One of you is going to have a full gun. You'll be able to wipe them out so easy. And especially if you're playing with someone, easy communication. And you're going to get nice and tons of renown per game. So guys, I've literally got to the extraction point. I know it has taken me two minutes. I've been explaining it. It is going to take you about 30 seconds to a minute to actually do it. It's nice, easy. I've got about 14 kills. And the best part about this, it does take 30 seconds to a minute to be able to do this. You get over 100 renown per game. Right now, it's going to show me about 30. But if you're doing it about 30 seconds to a minute per game, you're going to have about 600 to 700 renown per hour, which is really decent at the end of the day. And that is without any challenges at all. But guys, like I did say, if you are doing it solo, you are going to get about 38. And that is with, obviously, me doing it solo. If you do do it with, obviously, a squad, you're going to get more. The more players you do have, the more renown you do get. But apart from that, guys, that's going to be the end of the video here. If you've got any questions, then please do leave them down below. I'll be able to answer them, help you out. Any other video ideas you want me to do, then as well, leave me down below. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to turn on notifications. And it is very hot. It's the hottest day in the UK right now, so I'm sweating. So I'm going to probably leave some gameplay. And until next time, see ya. Bomb has been located by Op 4. Frag, 
Four remaining. Ten seconds. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> 